Hey guys, how's it going? It's been a while since we had an update on literally anything. So today we're gonna show you one of our newest projects. Wyatt's over there. Hello. There-ish. Hi. And he's gonna introduce you one of introduce to you one of our new interesting projects. Interesting shit boxes. <laughs> interesting shit boxes, yeah. That's what we specialize here at Team Wyatt. Yeah. We we specialize in not finishing any of them. Not finishing yeah. bark all. This one is a uh, is kind of a a fun pile of shit. It's uh it's about half Nissan, half Toyota. Um, it's a 87 Corolla GTS coupe uh, with an SR20 in it. We can uh, attempt to take a peek. If the uh, if you are super eagle-eyed, you'll notice that there's a lot of S13 bits and pieces like the brake booster and the clutch, um, clutch master. And then once you get further than that, you end up with an S13 uh, cross member, control arms, pretty much everything in the front end minus the tension rods is S13. So uh, what's left that's still Toyota? Uh, most of the body. Most, not all of them. Not all of it. Yeah, it's got a, it has an uh, S13 IRS conversion too. Um, okay, so it's front and rear S13 suspension correct. and subframes yep. and steering yep. and motor. And motor. <laughs> that's gotta be it for now, right? That's that's about it. I mean, yeah. it's gotta, yeah, I, I think that's it. Yeah. Uh, what was this car used for? Uh, it used to be a uh, Pro-Am car in Texas back in, I don't know, I think it was like 2011 or 2012, something like that. Uh, this car went through like two or three SRs, killed them, and it ended up sitting for a very long time. Uh, I bought it last year. I think last year. Last year. Uh, yeah, we're real good on the project updates. Yeah, you know, it, it's been a minute, but... It's yeah, been it's a year, a, too. I mean, come on. Most of the money is there. I just need to pull myself up by my bootstraps and do the freaking work. So. Yeah, oh, duh. Yeah. I guess it's got S13 brakes, too. What do we got going on in here? Uh, there's not much. It's got a S13 steering column. Uh, oh, more S13 parts. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. You know, a hydro setup that's I had to bleed and it's puked everywhere because uh, I'm stupid and don't know what I'm doing. Um, it's pretty much just run off a switch panel. I've got to got to do about 30 minutes of wiring and uh, it should be good to go as far as running goes. Because uh, this, I mean, this was running or able to run or close to running when we got it. Sort of. Sort um, of. I mean, it ha obviously hasn't run in eight, ten, eight or ten years now. Uh, and the wiring harness that I was gifted with it is very, very hacked up. So uh, suspect at best. It was suspect at best. So I will do my best to continue using it. If not, I'll graft in the the harness that came with the uh, the imported motor. Given our um, experience with uh, hacked up harnesses and swaps and such, what should we check for uh, ground ground cables? <laughs> and make sure that you don't just have the uh, the clutch, just the uh, braided, braided clutch steel line. clutch line as the, the only, only engine and transmission ground to the. Wow, this clutch line is hot. This got really hot really fast. So that's not going to happen this time. We won't do that on this car. No, definitely not. But, uh, yeah, that's it's got a sufficient ground strap now. <laughs> that's good. But oh no, it's not all matching. No. Corolla owners. They used hate to have this. a humongous, humongous uh, carbon fiber wing on it um, long before I got it. So oh. somebody swapped in a this lame little red uh, deck lid. But I wonder how much we can see under the neath. I don't know, but I'm gonna attempt to uh, pop the trunk. Egg. Well, I guess you can see just as much by being on top as on bottom, huh? Yeah, which is not usually it. But, you know, the yeah, situation. It's, uh, there's an IRS setup. Something there. That's a 044 Bosch fuel nice. pump. Nice. Um, that I need to make some new fuel hard lines from all the way at the back to all the way at the front. Um, it's got a 12 gallon fuel cell in it um, with some very rotten ass foam in it that needs mm. to be replaced. Um, Yummo. Mostly stock back end. It looks like it's got, uh, what are those called? Are those toe arms? I think those are toe arms. Um, and I think some case Some orangey ports. boys. Yeah, those are case ports. Nice. We have the best tire brand as always. Prime Oil. Number one, Prime Oil tires. Best in Chinesium. Don't need that. Ground strap, yes we do. <laughs> I uh, I had to put a window, it, it's been in a garage for the last, uh, I don't 
a lot of years uh, and it didn't have windows in it for some reason so I'm putting regulators and windows back in it so I can even push though, it outside and take, even though it takes up valuable garage space yeah, currently we, we have so many cars and all of the normal ones you know run and drive and whatnot but they're stuck in Haleville because we're in Texas um, sorry about the mess we're, we're sort of renovating part of the house so use that as an excuse for being disgusting uh oh. Oh. My child has become enraged. I Mad hear him. kid. Yep. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it's got a couple little fancy bits and pieces, but otherwise it's. Not really a car for Corolla Purist. This is the abomination to Corolla Purist. Uh, yeah, this is. This has no resale value any longer. <laughs> Corolla GTS? Cool. Yeah, 20 grand car currently. This is not so much. Not so much. that. It's definitely butchered. Uh, but it means we can have fun with it. But it means I don't have to care. Without bad, right? Yeah, it's not like I'm swapping a solid axle back into it. Um, Bars. It's never going to have AC or anything fun. One seat. It, yeah, it does have a roll cage that was originally a bolt-in that somebody made a weld in. Um, That's a way to do it. Yeah. it's uh, Got the best battery brand ever. Value power. Swag attack. Uh, yeah. I don't know. There's not a whole lot else in there, I guess. I'll, uh, I'm running a single, like, uh, Defy little mini ZD gauge thingy for all of my telemetry, and that's pretty much going to be it. Um, this is a an EEPROM ECU, so I will probably be EEPROM tuning this. How is um, everything we ever... I don't know. I get good luck. I don't understand this code, but it'll... Uh, I assume it'll come together eventually. Surely. Yeah. It's got an even and an odd chip. It's actually got two chips. Um, so you have to write it half and half. Yeah. Exciting, huh? So even more shit to learn. So many things that I don't have any clue about. Should be fun. Yeah. But yeah. Sounds like a Toyota still. So. You know, and that's key. When yeah. closing your Toyota, yeah, it does it still sound, sound like, a like a Toyota? I mean, it even... does make the noise. Oh, yeah, I guess it does make that noise. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Ooh! I wish it didn't have a sunroof. That's about the only thing I genuinely hate about it, but the, uh, yeah. I don't know. Should be fine. Mainly it has pop-ups. It does have pop-ups. They're no That's... longer pop-ups because they're fixed. Oh, they're just ups? Yeah, yeah, they're, they're ups. Look, the, uh, the motors are gone. Oh, no, they... For the sake they... of uh, clearance, so they've become ups. They're just <laughs> They no longer pop. Just ups. On that disappointment. It's time to end the show. Thanks for tuning in. Good Catch night. you later. <laughs> Back to the studio. <laughs> That's my line! Oh no. <laughs> boy, you want a crispy boy? Aw, <laughs> oh, shit. That's how we get White in a better mood. It's time to pop a top, I suppose. Again? Mm hmm?